Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and gas time once again. And um, let me go ahead and preface this by saying this, chances are, this is probably going to be a fairly long one, and there's also a lot of moving parts in this one too, so just don't be surprised if I start making mistakes here and there. So, but anyway, um, let me intro this music real quick, or let me, let me get rid of that window. Trying to trim off the excess right now. I'll get rid of that. Okay, but anyway, um, the music is gonna be uh, the Cold Sleep. I think this came out like a few days ago. Um, this is up. Uh, it also came from one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels. Some of you guys might be familiar with this if you've checked out my other casts. Um, it's a uh, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. So, more dark ambient music. You go ahead and rewind this back and fire up. <sighs> okay, so and there all and there's also a uh, this is also by the time I got through putting this cast together, I thought it to be very open ended. So. I mean, a lot, a lot of the, a lot of the videos that I make, or excuse me, a lot of the casts that I make, there's a specific order and uh, the way I want to say things. But this time it's gonna be one of those exceptions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this first. Uh, this seems to, this seems to be my new reality now. Um, this morning I laid down around, uh, I think it was around 5 a.m. Um, woke up around 8.30, so only three and a half hours. Got up, got a stream going, or set my stream up. Fiddle fart around until I think, I think around 10, 10.30. Uh, tried laying back down, but it, I basically tossed and turned for a couple hours. So, got back up and just figured, fuck it. Just went ahead and got a stream going. I mean hell later on I mean hell later on in the evening um I laid back down around I think 7 p.m. yeah and I literally slept through my alarm I had it set for one hour and um but I ended up uh, sleeping for three so and um for those that are what for those that are wondering why I why I prefer to take if anyone's noticed that I prefer to take like one hour naps um I'm trying to fight my body from sleeping for big chunks of time because I'm still trying to I'm trying to train my butt or I'm trying to keep my body trained to sleep during the mornings like the full-blown a full-blown sleep so when um when I'm sleeping for for big chunks of time in the evening or at night it's a problem because it's what's throwing it's throwing off my sleep pattern but at the same time though I I mean I can't be drowsy all night so I've got to get in something because my body's natural inclina inclination is to uh, sleep at night not stay up so like I said I work a night job I'm a night owl I'm more comfortable being out at night than during the day too many people So, so, but I, it looks like, unless, um, unless I can figure something else out, this is pretty much going to be my schedule now. I'll probably, um, my ideal time for streaming is still going to be 2.30 p.m., but just don't be surprised if I come on earlier. Or maybe even later cuz I think right now I would rather um I would rather do something early and then rather than um or better early than late yeah that's what I was trying to say I mean I would rather I would rather get it taken care of early and um be and well being you know being sleepy and groggy and all that than to 
go ahead and try to, you know, take a one hour nap and then get up and like do my casting. In fact, that's that originally that's what I was wanting to do with this because my um my this cast video was for the most part ready to go around 2 a.m. and so I figured ah, I just go ahead and you know take a one hour nap and then just go ahead and you know do my cast at 3 a.m. like I like I normally do but again I don't I don't want to risk oversleeping so I just went ahead and um I think I just added a few things here and there and. By the time uh, I figured uh, it was 2:45 or it's 2:51 a.m. right now, but I was uh, start I started getting things started at 2:45 a.m. So. But uh, on my work nights, since uh, my work nights are from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, I'm pretty much gonna sleep like a rock on those days, you know. Leave at seven. Um, I probably I'll probably lay down somewhere between eight to eight thirty. But like I said, I'm still exhausted from, you know, I'm ex I'm so exhausted from work that I just I pretty much drop just like that. So sleep isn't that much of a problem. Cause, cause in that case, there I'll get a. I'll get a solid four, four, maybe even five hours. So. Um, but otherwise for the for yesterday's stream, it was more idle champions of the Forgotten Realms. And um I'm really liking it right now. I guess, I guess since I'm here and uh, I currently have it up, I pretty much had it up all night, so. Hit F8, hit F8 and I just leveled her up and oh, 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 oh. And I guess when you, um, when you level them up enough, you can, um, you can assign them a feat. Let's see if we can take down this boss. Take too long, so um, but you know what? Yeah, let's just go ahead and complete it. This wasn't a there was no this is um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? This is a, a free roam, a free roam run, like, there's no actual clear objective you have to obtain, just go as far as you can, quit anytime. So Just go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay, and um, another thing I like about this game, and I, I, I did it yesterday, and I'll. As long as I'm streaming this game, I'll continue to do it. Is um, I started um, I started listening to podcasts yesterday, and um, back when I was uh, streaming City Skylines, um, some of y'all might know, you know, some y'all, some of you all might already know about this, but um, but yeah, um. But when I was playing, when I was playing City Skylines, that's what I did too, during like periods of downtime. Just um, or let me let me rephrase that. Games, you know, 
games like this and City Skylines are usually pretty laid back. They're not real action intensive, so I could actually, you know, sit back and actually listen to these things. I mean, kind of hard to do if I'm like playing a fighting game or if I'm playing pinball or something. So let's go ahead and um, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna basically get it started. go ahead and start this one but like I said I'm I'm probably just gonna set it up kind of like this set up my familiars there is no cow level sorry if you don't get the reference said I'm hitting hotkeys so it's one of the things I like about this game I don't have to manually click these guys to level them up go ahead and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and save and quit out uh, but otherwise one other thing I did is um I watched uh, episode 31 yeah, episode 31 of Dragon Ball. So. And I guess, um. This episode here at Chi Chi. Uh, I guess she's. I think of one of. Like the first few episodes of Dragon Ball Z that I watched. I guess, uh, Goku was married to her. So. This episode here. Ah, I know her. So. But, um. And another, and apparently, and apparently, at least according to um, the the Dragon Ball season one that I have, there was actually a uh, 31 episodes, but um, I guess technically, I guess what they decided to do for uh, this edition is uh, they just uh, crammed in the first two seasons, and then um, part of season three. So that kind of threw me off a bit. But um, at this conjecture, though, I don't know if I'm gonna buy season two or not. I have um, I have Dragon Ball Z, but um, those that have checked out my other casts, those that I'm uh, when it comes to stuff like this, I'm a bit of a completionist. I like to watch uh, I like to watch stuff from the very, very beginning, and not um, uh, and not, not jump around. I mean, especially when it's a uh, when it's a franchise that I've never seen before. Just to see where it all began. Uh, but again, this is most of this is just talk and speculation. But I know um, in Dragon Ball Z, the first few episodes, there's a character in there, in there named Piccolo. He's, but I guess he's also one of the main bad guys in the original Dragon Ball. So there's gonna there's this. If I just um stop watching Dragon Ball and just went to Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, there's this gonna be there's gonna be this major loose end that I'd wanna tie up. So um I guess what's on the table right now is uh if I can afford it 
just get a season two of Dragon Ball and just continue on, but kind of, but just watch Dragon Ball at least up until the point where Piccolo gets introduced. Um, in fact, let me, let me do this real quick. Anyway, um, but like I said, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably continue watching, uh, just Dragon Ball, at least until Piccolo gets introduced, then I'll probably watch both Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, because like I said, in the DBZ version, um, Piccolo's already in there, so this way, watching both, watching both series, it, it just, it won't be so much of a loose end for me. Oh, Mom, I'm taking a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. And I'm looking up something else here real quick. bit of a technical difficulty here um i gotta go retrieve something apparently i deleted something out of my um uh, out of my images folder so Sorry about this. That I just kind of feel a need to explain something. So for those that are for those that are wondering what got me into Dragon Ball, into the Dragon Ball universe, well, um, a few months ago I picked up a game, Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, that that game I actually had pretty low expectations on it. Just I came from playing Fantasy Strike, which you know the aesthetics, characters, lore, dialogue, especially the dialogue. Oh my god, just so much cringe and eye roll in there. So I was looking for another game to play. And um And I figure, you know, DB you know, Dragon Ball Fighters is pretty much all the rage. Oh, I'll give that one a go. But again, I'm I mean in my mind, um, the Dragon Ball universe is for the most part a kid's a kid's show. So I had this feeling that I wasn't gonna get into it at all. 
I just wanted to play it just to say, oh well, I tried. But no, um, did the story mode. I mean, surprisingly, it was good. I mean, not not a wonderful story. No, I think that honor goes to uh, Final Fantasy Tactics and Ogre Battle 64. First two that come to mind. But I mean, it it's watchable. I mean, I'm very little, you know, I was very little cringing throughout the whole story mode and all that and the whole universe. So it was completely unexpected. So pretty much any game that can surprise me like that is definitely a keeper. So, but anyway, I'm, so kind of out of respect for that, I went ahead and started, you know, I went ahead and started, most certainly for lack of a better phrase, but embarked on my Dragon Ball journey. So I just started, started, wa started watching that, so. But like I, like I said, I'm, I'm the kind of person that wants to watch something from the very beginning. But, um, as I'm already kind of running a little bit behind here, and I still have more stuff to talk about. Ah, um, read some Jessica Wildfire yesterday. And originally, um, I want... I, hang on just a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay but yeah but yeah originally I was I was gonna I was gonna dismiss this article you know I was like why you know why are you going at why are you going after celebrities I mean it's it's almost like it's their job to be ignorant and stupid Especially the eye candy ones. So, but... Uh, just another moment. Hold on. <sighs> okay, but anyway, um... But you know, I mean, it's like what you know. It's like I said a few moments ago. I mean, especially you know, celebrities like Kim Kardashian. I mean, it's it's all it's almost it's like it's their job to be stupid. So I didn't see why you'd want to make a whole article about something that we already know. But like I said, I gave it its due attention. I'm like, damn. Okay, I'm like, yeah, wow. I get. I guess she does have a reason to bitch, but I, I want to gloss over. I or excuse me, I only want to gloss over this as much as possible. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like like nobody still like wants to work these days. Oh my god, they're like so lazy. I mean, that's how I translated it. Just a loop comment from the spoiled. I guess she saw more in it than I did. Like I said, that's as far as I got. Just, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's a. I mean, it's a reality TV princess. It's what they do. Kim Kardashian is a first person to say is or somehow offensive. She's a parody of something she's heard a million times. She has? <laughs> That's news. I mean, not... Okay, let, let me... Let me. Let me say this. No, I don't watch Kim Kardashian. I don't watch any of that stuff. Um, I don't watch anything mainstream. Um, I've said it in my Twitch bio. I'm culturally and socially off the grid. 
Um, I stay away from all that mainstream stuff, so no, um. But I would also be one of those that would say she needs she needs to go back to being a stupid ditz. I mean, I think that's probably why everybody watches her. Just you know, just to see her you know, and to just to just to hear her say stupid shit. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. It almost sounds like Jessica's trying to make a mountain out of a molehill here. Huh? Where was Kim during all this? Apparently tuned out. Huh? Just being the reality TV star that she's always been. It does kind of have me curious a little bit about why the sudden change. But... Oh, I'm taking another drink. Oh, Kim Kardashian. What? Okay, now this part, this part is legit. She's been up. Talking about stuff like this for years. I was obsessing over her tan, her butt, and making sex tapes. I haven't seen the whole I haven't seen the whole entire sex tape, but from what little I saw of it, she's basically just squirming around in a bathtub. If she wasn't having any sex in there at all, I wouldn't have been surprised. All tease, no please. At a part time job. Yep. Her mom is, uh, I believe, schizophrenic. Like, um, I'm guessing hers is a lot worse than mine. I mean, at least I'm not pissing and shitting on the floor. But... Yeah, so this, a little bit of background in her. Like, yep, I've said this before, she's a teacher, so... Um... After all the BS that she's gone through, she's she's well within her right to complain. Helping underprivileged and at-risk adults get an education, taught basic reading and writing, taught literacy. I did it while living in a one-room apartment with no furniture, sleeping on a mattress with a friend. Not special. Worked hard, did everything right, and wound up not making millions of dollars. Yup. George Carlin once said, They call it the American dream because you have to be asleep to believe it. Did everything right, and wound up not making millions of dollars. Yup. It's one of the reasons why I, I don't listen to billionaires, I don't listen to their life story, I don't. The, the whole rags to riches shit. It just goes right over my head. Rolls off me like water off a duck's back. Regina Raw Dead, which is not going to be able to live up her incomes. Turns out we can't. Yup. Yeah, and here's where, um, here's where she goes into a better explanation. Like I said, I don't know, originally I didn't know why she was coming down on Kim Kardashian. She's just being the dumb broad that she's always been. I'm sure like a lot of other, uh, like a lot of other reality TV stars as well. Anna Nicole Smith's another one that comes to mind. That is one natural blonde right there. Doesn't deserve her money. I guess she must have picked up some hostility. Great resignation. Um, I'm I'm assuming that means uh, just where everybody just gave up, gave up on life. 
General Wake had a current amount of Americans there. Their job sucked, their bosses were assholes who didn't appreciate them. Actually, as one who's been in retail for, if my math is right, 33 years, this is something that I've known for the longest time. I mean, I've had to deal, I mean, I've had to deal with this kind of thing long before this article came out. Hell, long before even Kim Kardashian got popular. She is, after all, the heartless boss of things. Nobody deserves a raise. Someone who simply wants everyone to keep working themselves to death. Nope. I'm one of those people. Like I said, I didn't... I never knew she had a... Never knew she had many crimes against humanity. I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but I thought she was just a... A dumb reality TV star. You know? whoop de doo And it's been 30 minutes on this cast, so I'm going to have to find a way to quickly wind this down. Wind up quitting and in some cases even suing her for exploitative work conditions. So she's kind of like, um, she's kind of like Cruella off of 101 Dalmatians. You know, it's... Yeah, quite a bit like Cruella, now that I think about it. Uh, the factories that produce their makeup and clothing have frequently come under fire for the same thing. Okay, so... But like I said, this was a part where... This was, a, this was, this was the eye-opening part for me right here. No different from Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. She takes advantage of people, skirts labor laws. Kim Kardashian does not work. Okay, here we go. The entire family has spent the last 15 years promoting toxic beauty standards for women. We have a serious epidemic. Yup. But, um, this here, though, this is nothing new. I mean... I'm sure, I'm sure you can go, you can go decades back and this, the same kind of shit was going on. Probably ever since, uh, probably since television was invented. You know. Attractive women on TV and then all the men are all, <laughs> jack, you know, jacking them out and, you know, women probably getting all jealous and stuff and so they're, they're buying the bow ices and the hip huggers and whatnot. Form fitting clothing. Wait, it's oh, I'm just checking to see if the um, album was over. Oh, it's still going. Turn on a cry on Instagram about being held to these toxic beauty standards when they created them. I can see that, uh, but I can't. I, I doubt. Uh, I doubt the uh, Kardashians are the only ones in this, though. Again, um, Anna Nicole Smith was another one that came to mind. I watched. Uh, I was basically forced to watch like, like an episode or two of her show. It's like, oh my freaking god! It just. Major eyesore. <laughs> if you can stand to watch their show, I can't. So, how hard they work and how nobody treats them fairly. We've internalized it. Flying around the world in private jets and throwing endless batches of balls that produce litter, tons of plastic waste, all while talking about the environment. Okay.
wouldn't last a day. Yeah, I couldn't see it either. The old middle class dreaming rally tries harder and harder to sell it. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're going into into some big time bashing right here, and so it looks like uh the rest of this would probably better. I'd probably better off just uh, reading on my own time. Like, so. So, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, as I kind of went a little over long on this cast, so. So yeah, uh, once again, I'll just go ahead and call it good. Um, thanks for thanks for dropping in today, or. Thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. Um, and I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks for uh, thanks again for stopping by, and see you all next time. Bye for now.